Hey guys, Philosopher here, and today I have a very special video. A video that I'm getting based on popular request. So, a lot of people make comments uh, on my videos about the size of my roster. Because uh, there's a lot of big characters at the very top. But one of the weird things about uh, my roster in this game is, first of all, uh, my roster kind of skipped leg day so to speak if you ever heard that uh that uh that term at the bottom end of my roster is is not very uh beefy shall we say i basically have gone all in on the characters that are newer for streaming purposes also just the very good characters in the game and the characters i don't use i kind of just leave down here in a very low level uh situation i i haven't been playing the game as long as some and I've just taken this sort of more, you know, super focused approach. And I asked people in my Discord, which is linked below, what do you want to see in the game? And they're like, we want to see the really big rosters. Will you do a roster review of one of the big rosters in this game? <clears throat> and so what I did is, so you see my roster is 16.8 million and change, 16.8. That is the 800th. So what am I? I am the 801. So I'm 801 in the game. There's a lot of people above me. And no one is bigger. No one in the game is bigger than Beta Ray Bill. 27.9 million. Almost 28 million TCP. Way bigger than mine. Way bigger than... Uh, almost, uh, you know, than almost anybody, right? Just massive, I'm sure, compared to most of you that are watching. Uh, an insane roster. So if you want to see how big uh, a roster can get in Marvel Strike Force, you have come to the right video uh, because you are. We are going to do a roster review of Beta Ray Bill's roster, and this is literally by request on my Discord. People wanted to see this. Uh, and so we are going to go through that now. His, his roster is so big it can barely fit in this video. Let's put it that way. So let's go right now and take a look at the top of his roster. You can see what he's working on here. Not much to work on. <clears throat> I guess he's putting these are the characters he's putting. Level 3 Blue Iso on Misty, Anti-Venom, Cloak, and Deathpool. Uh, those are, that looks like Deathpool may be the only character he's got at four red stars. Uh, anything below five. But look at the top characters here. Seven Red Sam, Surfer, Doc Ock, Kestrel, Gamora, Black Bull, everything max. Ultimate, Sharon Carter. Wow, that's an amazing Sharon Carter there. Thanos, Taskmaster. Hell, look at all the <coughs> seven red stars. Cap Captain America, Iron Fist, Yelena, Night Nurse. Just absolutely massive. One thing that people don't realize is that the size of characters depends on how new the character is, what their stats are, that sort of thing. So you'll see here Adam Morlock is only five red stars, but he's actually quite large. You know, he's larger than a seven red star Yelena Belova in terms of the stats, okay, and the numbers here. Um, you'll also notice how much Blue Iso he has. Now, I have a lot of Blue Iso as well. Uh, I will confess that I save a lot of mine. I have, I think, 140 some of those orbs saved. Um, but, you know, he's applying them, and that may be very well the smart thing to do because, frankly, once you start doing 100% of difficulty one, you start storing up, you know, getting a good store of these orbs. You can only max out to, to three right now anyway. But one thing, you know, people wonder about is well you know i get constant questions by people about spending in this game i think it's safe to say it costs a lot of money to get a roster like this but once you get to you know the, the this account started a long time ago in the game and time spent in this game is also a part of this okay another thing i would just say about this is that this roster at a certain point, it's hard to improve it. And here's what I mean. How do you improve a roster like this? The only way to improve a roster like this is with more red stars. We're going to get to the rest of the roster in a second. But it's why, you know, people, uh, I had some people scoffing in comments or, you know, about when I said Ultimus. 
You can see he upgraded Ultimus to seven red stars. People are using him on more defense at the level I'm at. I compete. He's on my alliance. He's in my alliance. He's on my team. But I compete against accounts like this in war. Very challenging for me with less than 17 million to hang with these guys. <clears throat> you could see here he's got so Murray Hill, six red, Cole Obsidian, six, seven red electors all the way down here. You could see your seven red Star Lord. <laughs> Um, but you could see here how G all these characters are basically G15. Have some measure of blue ISO on them. Even you know characters like Domino. Uh, he's got you know five. Uh, he's got five, you know five, level five green ISO on Loki. Seven red stars. All G15 max. G15 Shocker. G15 seven red Rocket with level five green ISO. Right. Doom is all the way down here. <clears throat> Some of these characters, so you may say, is there any point to having these characters? Well, yeah, I mean, one thing that he has that I don't have <clears throat> is that every one of his war defense teams is extremely difficult. So, <clears throat> you know, he has his wave, my wave one team. If you look at the philosopher wave one Avengers, you know, it's not a difficult team to beat in Alliance War. Because when you look at my Hulk, it's only G13. And the size of the Hulk and the size of the Thor usually determine how, how tough this team is. Now, I've got, I'm sitting on almost 20,000 SBCs. Obviously, that's enough to maybe bring 10 characters up. I don't know. <coughs> 10, 12, 14, I don't know. The, in terms of the orange gear, I have to bring them up to G15. But nothing near what he has, right? Nothing near what he has all already brought up to G15 on his roster. But it gives him options. He can, for example, use the most optimal Sinister Six out, uh, you know, lineup if he wants to use them on war offense. He's got a G15 six red star blob. His brotherhood actually can be very effective in Alliance War on, let's say, war defense, for example, in a way that, you know, mine is good. I have a G14 blob. I have a G14 Magneto, but his is, you know, G15 level 85. You can see he's got basically every character, all level 85 here, level 85 Hulk, level 85 Rocket. You know, if you look here, <clears throat> you know, his on his war defense to go along with a seven red Ultimus, he's got a six red G15 Korath. Uh, you know, we talked, I've talked in some of my videos about how yo-yo could be used with the symbiote, but you need to have a huge yo-yo. Well, here's a huge yo-yo, six red stars, G15. Mine's only G14. Uh, his is G15. You know, his uncanny, uh, his uncanny, uh, uh, doom team would be awesome, right? With the six red G15 Cyclops level 85. Look at that. He's got Sif. Seven red stars or his Asgardians, if you ever needed them. There's that wave one. You know, you you know, you talk about Ultron. Uh, the reason that I can tell you that Ultron isn't that important at five red stars is because I know a lot of people with Ultrons that have five red stars and they're really not a super important part of their roster. Okay. He's got it all. And tons of T4s because you know, one thing that you can't buy. So one thing you may not realize, you can't buy everything in this game. One thing you absolutely can't buy much of, although they changed it slightly recently, is um, T4 materials, okay? However, <clears throat> how do you get T4 materials in this game? Well, finish rank one raid season, and you get a lot of T4s or rank two raid season or whatever, right? So if an account like this has been in one of the very best alliances for years, you can imagine how many T4s this account's been getting over time. Okay? So, you know, the this competition means something because it, it, it has that payout. There's a lot of, uh, uh, of management of keys and everything that goes into making sure you're at the top of that. We'll keep taking a look here. So my point is, T4s, as I've mentioned many times in streams and videos, T4s have uh, an undue weight on the number here. Uh, you know, this this strength number. So a lot of this is just T4s. He's probably got T4 all on almost all these characters. And you can see the G15 on characters, even like Heimdall. Namor, very powerful in Alliance War. I use a G12 
G12 level 80 Namor and my Namor is used in every single Alliance War. His is G15 six red stars. You better believe with some blue ISO on him, you better believe that has a big impact on Alliance War. <clears throat> he doesn't, you know, sometimes I'll have to be choosy about the teams that I take on because I'm relying on, you know, there are characters on my roster where I'm kind of figuring out how to cut corners on my roster. So if you look at my roster and you go down here, there's characters where I'm like, I'm kind of swarming Electro or like, eh, you know, they're not on deck. You have to be careful what I do with my Sinister Six if they're on offense. My Namor, I got to hope he doesn't die before he gets to use his ultimate, his big ultimate attack. Uh, things like that, right? My Cyclops ain't, ain't going to scare anybody. You know, he puts slow on people, but he's not really going to kill people. <clears throat> when you have teams this big, just the sheer size of characters this big, the sheer size of the characters can have an impact. You know, if you want on your Hydra, you have infinite options for your Hydra team, right? You can throw your seven Red Star G15 Winter Soldier if you want to apply heal block. Uh, certainly, you got your seven Red Star Hydra Grenadier is the highest damage, but if you want Rifle Trooper, you could throw him on whatever. For this account, five Red Stars is the bare minimum, but the de and and that's the case for my account. I don't really have anything below five Red Stars either, but. Uh, I won't, you know, my, my human torch is, I don't know, G11. My America Chavez is G10. He's got a seven red star G15 America Chavez. So if death bull comes out, and he wants to try the brawlers on war defense. He's got a full G15 brawlers team. He can use, Oh, Wolverine's getting a rework. Yep. He's already got the G15 seven red star Wolverine. So players like him, they just have nothing. They always have nothing left to do. So, for you, you may wonder why is Scopely some? I remember when, when I was a newer player, big. Like, why is Scopely introducing new raids, new characters, new things like that? Well, for a guy like Beta Ray Bill, that is how he can improve his account. If he, if there weren't new characters, he'd almost have nothing to do, right? New challenges, new raids. The, a lot of what this game is doing is making sure there's content for people like him. Okay, look, <clears throat> look at this. You know, here's some of the, quote, low characters in his account. We're getting to the point now where we're getting to the own, own mere five red star characters. Okay. But even here, some of them, this is a seven red star mantis. Building her, you can see the pieces building her to G15, building Spider-Man to G15. And you can understand, you might think, well, that's crazy. Why would you build Spider-Man to G15? Well, He's built everything else at G15, so you might as well, right? You get to a certain point when your Hydra Sniper is G15. I use Hydra Sniper in war. Mine's G12, and I use him in war uh, often. <clears throat> you know, he, he's got a G15. I, it helps. My Hydra Sniper is basically just putting, you know, is just there to put speed and, and offense up on the, the characters who do the real damage, like Grenadier and Zemo, on my roster. And his roster, Sniper, is actually killing people. And he can throw in, if he needs another ability block, you know, I remember him mentioning to me one time, oh, I can throw vision in on this team. And I was thinking to myself, how could I give advice to the other members about throwing vision on a team? How many members have a G15 vision to just toss on a team? Beta Ray, Bill does. <clears throat> seven, his seven red cross zones, his six red vision, whatever. Uh, you know, he's ready for the Ravager rework with his seven red G15 Ravager stitcher. His G15 Red tro Shield Trooper is G his or G14 Seven Red Star Kingpin, Average or Bruiser Bruiser Seven Stars. You know you, you know when you look at my account, I got plenty of garbage Red Star characters too. <clears throat> um, you know, if you look here. I've got a seven red star aim researcher. I haven't even ranked her up, right? I've got six red star aim infector, six red star ravager prover. You know, I do meet players all the time, six red star Jessica Jones, who are like, I when I get a seven red star, I max them out. I just haven't, I personally haven't done that. But eventually I, I probably maybe I won't have anything left to do either I've been playing this game for that long I've only been playing this game whatever 16 17 months 
You know, my I haven't even put, ranked up the Shield Medic. I got the seventh red star on. So it's just a different. This is a whole different level. It makes my roster look tiny. In fact, my roster is tiny. I have the smallest roster in my alliance by a good margin. He's got the G15 in Baku. I mean, he is no problem. Going to have no problem if there's ever a, a Wakandan rework, a new Wakandan team. Right? <clears throat> He's got even ha his hand team is scary. Seven red star, G14. Hand Blade Master looks like he's bringing them to G15. <clears throat> you know, Ravager, Boomer, Hand Assassin, all these seven red star characters. Kree, Cyborg, all of them. Six, G14, G15. You're looking now, by the way, this is the bottom of his roster. <clears throat> the bottom of his roster. Okay. These characters here. This this is the bottom. The very bottom of his roster is Hand Archer, 111K, is his smallest character in this game. <clears throat> so I know that some of you are going to look at this and, you know, I get p comments from people like, man, it makes me feel bad when I see another roster that's bigger than mine. I got to tell you guys, it doesn't make me feel bad at all. Okay, I am constantly, I'm in an alliance with people who have much bigger rosters than I do. I compete against them in war. And I see more power to those people, okay, because uh, they, they frankly enable all of us to have the game and play the game. And... Frankly, I learn things from them because they test things out that I can't test out. Uh, a player like him, like Beta Ray, who has everything, is the first one who showed me that Nick Fury was a good option in the Doom Raid early on before we got the Secret Avengers. And I think that the, these players actually can help, uh, can help uh, teach us things about which characters can still be useful or not. And, and I will just say right now, of course, what Scopely's doing is other than rework characters, they're making it. So a lot of his investment has become less useful. So if anything, now, you know, what Scopely's doing is helping newer players who are just focusing entirely on the newest characters in the game. So, look, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it gave you some perspective on things. Please don't have it discourage you in any way. I know some people tell me they get discouraged when they see people ahead of them. I don't know why. It's th one thing I'll just tell you. I've been playing this game a long time. The fun of it is the journey of the of it and building a roster. It can actually get boring when you have nothing else to build or no more puzzles to solve. Enjoy the, the the challenge of trying to figure out how to work your way around some latest BS from Scopely. You know, enjoy the challenge of building up your roster, figuring out which of the characters can get the job done. For somebody like me, sometimes it's figuring out the lowest level that I can get away with keeping some of my characters. Um, you know, and now even when I compete against, you know, players with, with those massive accounts, that's, you know, some of the element of fun I have in this game. But find the element of fun that there is for you in this game and take the the roster like this and just view it as something cool to see, on something to appreciate and give you some perspective on what you've been doing in the game. All right, guys, if you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to this channel. If you got comments, you can leave them below, uh, including thank yous to Beta Ray, who putting himself out there like this is very kind of him to do. Uh, and, and uh, you know, if you have, uh, but if you have whatever your thoughts are, you can put them below or go to my Discord. That's linked below. You can also go to my Twitch stream. That's linked below as well.